Welcome everyone to Let's Play of Penumbra Overture. Um, before this I made a Let's Play of Penumbra Black Plague, but uh, what I didn't know then was that Black Plague was the sequel to Overture. So I um, corrected the mistake and doing the Penumbra Let's Play all over again with uh, Penumbra Overture, the first episode. So let's get started. Easy. Players were bad at action games. Not me. Normal. Recommended. Swiss most players. You are quite average, fellow. Hard for players wanting a real challenge. Mm, nah, not really. I'll take it for normal. The story began in February, year 2000. For my part in this allegory. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Oh, yes, I will. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard. Dear bastard he son. was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. It is? Huh. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic class in which he inexplicably expected to come any dead. Hello, son. Oh, you look dead. Clearly averse to explanations. My father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. So why didn't they give him this before? My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. And then it crashed. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago. So you can catch a plane from Heathrow again. to Greenland? And I considered it in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. And then we got attacked by penguins. Now, how did he manage to charter an airplane to Greenland and then hire a boat with crew and captain? With a teacher's salary. Sorry if the frame rate is a bit choppy, but it's mostly due to me using fraps. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I left you a little something to remember me by. This is lingering shot. Oh, ugh. Um, uh, me by the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking a shift because of it is no way to get you rest. What does a fisherman's wife new know with a life at sea? Mm -hmm. I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need, so you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I, I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you. I know. <laughs> I washed those overalls of yours. I knew you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that they had a wash. Mm. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. Mm, yes. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. <sighs> I don't want to know.
As I sipped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. A new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Well, so he jumped right off the boat and into the uh, nothingness, I guess. I'm home. Yes, let's stab with a hammer. Hmm. I reckon if I hold, <laughs> hmm, I do reckon if I hold down the right mouse button after a backswing, I should still be able to look around. Hmm. Food for thoughts.
that isn't helping much. Man, you're a fucking idiot. I'm blocked in. Seems I'm supposed to. Not much to say so far. It's hmm. it 
does have the uh, usual frictional Frictional, 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 I think I'm going mad. Ugh. Anyway, it has the usual frictional um, puzzle solving. Yeah. Pushing stuff, then go through stuff, get scared by stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Loading. Isn't that all of the game? Okay, I'm kind of freaking out already. <laughs> I'm just walking down a dark corridor and already I feel a bit sweaty. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> well, that's the thing I love about frictional games, like, just walking down a corridor is pretty suspenseful. Jerky. Mm. Take that typewriter. Ooh, more beef jerky. And what is this? Some pills? More flares. It's locked, I need a key. Hmm. It's just a chair. Hmm. Backstreet. 
Command Bunker Emergency Airstep Sulu Weekly Report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. It's not as green as it's supposed to be. Regular supply shipments received, standard emergency drills carried out, routine runway maintenance. <laughs> The one wanted figure, it's no cause of concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught by the cherry bombs, and I watched around 16 and blowing up a couple of fingers. The person was blown for this, and I So. Oh, yeah, 1945. You know, the Germans in Greenland in 1945. They say both men have been slain, and the injured man has been sent off for medical care. But think that the most evil person in the world would be so disconnected. One point you can see some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man made and may have a working party inside. I shall remove what looks like in front and see what it can discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M Major. Not as riveting as the fisherman's wife note. More. Copenhagen Post, Monday, Sunday, and August 1930. Second deposit. Uh, now the music kicks in. That can't be good. Was it the bottom of Death Mine? Uh, it was the Copenhagen that suggested that the mine altered chemicals and naturally soon into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. The university which has recently collected studies and tries to commit first began in the workers of the northwestern lead mine last year. Scattered that it will take into natural high suicide local figures for the last 100 years were normally high, for six that per 100,000 populars compared to the national average of 29. For investigation, an expert diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. It's probably the researchers to hypothesize that naturally positive or lysergic acid, uh, pH 4 from letters that discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. He looks for conducting an interview, but those who agreed to speak had the wrong explanation. You know, it's spirits known as the Tung Tung Gai Tung Tung that guy, Bob, the Bob's Bob the spirit, live in the mountains. The minister is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies continue. Ooh, and a key. Ooh, batteries. Seen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him Howard the Duck. Big Book of Explosive, 1933 edition. Jeff, do you like much fuse? Black like fuse is one of the oldest, simplest materials for guys to Am I supposed to make a bomb later? And I can bet right about now something pops up. I have to sneak around and be even more sweaty. Oh, very 
is it? Where is it? Fuck, fuck. Boom, happy face. Bugs. Friendly face. Is it me making that sound?
Okay then. Uh, this is a weird thing. What do I do with it? Let's see that thing again. Can't really understand it. So take the rocks out of the box and then <laughs> Fuck. Oh. oh, this can't be good. What was that flash? A ladder. A ladder for what? I'm gonna bring up my hammer now. What the hell is this thing? They wanted to begin resource deal in hope that the great work we hunted the may might not be scientific value. For the day, the risky ghost would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they will be unaware of my location and hence busy distance evacuating the other survivors. I don't know what you search for. My first mistake was in the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumption on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assertions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secure about two days ago in search of, did, of aid and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned what I thought was a direction from which I had some but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused I attempted to make my way home but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat only to find myself off maneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe had now most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I covered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller disused part of the mine. The key for which is still in a pocket within that area. I discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned I will not venture out again until I am certain this, this area is safe. Lots of spiders. I caught one of the accursed eight legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In a surprise, I swallowed it. If not so much the act of swallowing which comes from my brain, but the genus of erected. It would be unlikely that Kraton would be venomous to any significant degree, but that possibility tries me all the same. Any you known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inaccessible supply of nutrition. I tend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the Neo Science to learn more about this creature's natural habitat. For four days now, I've been surviving solely of the quite considerable assistance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. 
However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died, and I made a second life saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is the dark. Anyway, like now, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beast for a rather hearty meal. Okay then. So, let's learn do not turn off the light. The assumption left on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemical store in the stomach, which, if injured with regular period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. Not a real chance is to break out of here and read any special supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I had no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I would live until I heard human voice outside. Three, these spiders are so tasty. By the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an eligible scroll, today is the hundredth day of my new life. For the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering in their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gap. Gaps in the walls, for all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, I am uh, never covered. I hope at least that my studio of all and deep informed with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point of natural history. The greatest name in the modern science got to more food and talent than the brightest that uh, this rule has done itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. So, kids, remember you one day can be as great as this spider eating man. Fluid lighter gas. what I came for.
sir, are you all right? A private ladder, sir. Jerky. You sure like bugs or spiders, arachnids, to be precise. some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I shared my access for the past eight months for the due to my enforced retreats from their basement territory. Not too long ago their behavior became overly aggressive and so I attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair and secure myself out within one of the smaller rooms above it. The only one with an operational door lock. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetics. Even if I did have any anesthetics or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less intelligent in my work, so anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my pen knife to do the job just as well. This was also wondering enough a simple amputation of a non-vital organ. I began to notice a thick, glue-like substance forming on my tongue. I was forced to accept that I had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. When the century of days comes and goes, it seems like so many sin long since I escaped here. At some stage since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was fleeing seems a fate far worse than the one I now face. However, in the time since I arrived from the large mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking me further progress. I'm forced to return and accept whatever end life has in store for me. I still hear my aggressive little friend scratching on the door to my cell. Fill with battery. I picked up a ton of batteries. <laughs> Shadow 
switch to guilty controls. I can squeeze in there. Nah. Let's go back out. Back to the dog. I believe I know where I have to use that key I got. Shit, shit, shit. Where are you, doggy? Oh, doggy, 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 where are you? Please don't eat my face. Somewhere. 